Hello everyone, it's week four of the Nature Prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, and the challenge for this week is birds and other wildlife. Um, feel free to interpret this in any way that you like. Um, now I've decided I'm going to work in my 2021 Usual Scraps journal, haven't worked in this for uh, two or three weeks or so, but I've pulled out um, lots and lots of um, images that I thought might work. I've got um, magazine pages here with birds and other wildlife um, on um i've got some of my own artwork as well you you may recognize some of this you know bits and pieces that i've used in the past um more magazine images a postcard um here absolutely all sorts and then some bits and pieces that i thought i might be able to use for backgrounds um as well bits and pieces of wallpaper doilies scrapbooking paper um just all sorts so what i'm going to do is just have um, a rummage through this and see where i might like to start i've pulled out a few bits and pieces that i might be able to work with to get started i've got these two gorgeous magazine images here aren't they just beautiful so we've got the owls and the little field mouse I've also got some wallpaper samples. I just love these neutral tones, absolutely gorgeous. Now look, this just works beautifully. Um, the owl on this yellow and grey, I love that. Do I want it the other way around? I think it maybe looks better um, that way um, around. Um, we've also got this here, I've been having a play already and I just love how that field mouse looks on that grey there as well. Um, now we need to embellish this, it's a bit too plain so what what can we do i've also got this other piece of um, wallpaper here and i'm thinking maybe um, i can add a little bit um, of that as well just to add um, a tiny touch of background i've also got this gorgeous lace josie um, sent me this lace josie jitto um, who I know many of you know isn't that just gorgeous if I had that something there like that wouldn't that look absolutely beautiful um, and this is another piece of lace that Josie sent me let me just see if I can get this the right way around I am thinking that that would look absolutely beautiful there like that love it love it love it that's gorgeous now i'm thinking that um, i might be able to use some more of this um, on the other image as well so i think i'm going to cut this in fact let's just do it with a pair of scissors let's just cut a small piece that um, i can use as a background let me just make sure that i don't cut this too small about there like like that and then i've still got this the rest of this piece then to use um, for something else there we go and um, that will look cool so i'm just going to glue this down i think something um, like this there are two pages in my journal that i think would work absolutely beautifully with this owl image there's that one there that gray background or this one here and this is the one i'm going to choose just because i think that the white um, lace stands out much better on this background here so i'm just going to pull this out this again is another piece of um, wallpaper that i used as um, a page in my signature so let me just have a play around and see um, what design I can come up with. Now you can see I've cut some of this off just because it would have been wasted because of course it will be covered um, underneath the page and what I think I'm going to do is sort of tuck this under like here so that we've got some of that lace um, showing through like that. Doesn't that look pretty? That's just absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, I had this um, beautiful leaf design as well, which I thought would go there, but I'm just wondering whether it covers up too much of the owls. Could it go in the top right-hand corner? Um, oh gosh, I'm not so sure. Um, can I use some, some of this perhaps? Let's have a look. Let's see what we can we can do. You see, I think I quite like um, like that. So that we've got the bit on the left and the bit on the right. That looks really well balanced to me. Perhaps we can have that um, a bit a bit further further up. So I think I'm going to glue my page down um, just there like that. I might put some pads um, on the centre just to um, stack it up a little bit because this is quite textured. Now I've got um, a roll of this textured um, double-sided sticky tape here. Let's just put a couple of pieces on like this and that will stop page flattening um, let's just tear tear those off so we've got that there like like that there we go um, let's have a look and um, see what we can do composition um, wise 
So I do, I want that to go there like that, but I do want that to um, tuck in. Um, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue here like this. There we go, just so that I know where I want that to go. The same on this piece here. So I want those glued down. Let's do this a bit fiddly, but hey ho. There we are. And we'll do the same with this piece here as well. I'm just going to let that dry for a second or two and then I can glue this whole side down um, nicely. Isn't that going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous page? And you can see I'm just gluing these pieces down um, as well, just lifting these up. There we go. Tiny dab of glue. You don't need much. This glue is so strong. There we are. Just a tiny bit to the um, edges like like so. Some underneath there as well. There we are. That will do fine. And that's my beautiful finished page. Isn't that just absolutely lovely? Now I've got an idea for the other grey page that I decided not to use. So let's take this one um, out of the journal. Oh, what's it getting caught on? Oh, the tab on the other side. Let's see if we can do something um, with this using the little mouse. So let's bring back the um, pieces I had to play with. Um, I've got this piece of doily and I have chopped the top and the bottom off just because it was poking out of the top of that background there, which was um, really bugging me. I want to do something really simple with this. I've, I've got this leaf as well, the one that I was going to use on the other page. So I'm wondering whether I can perhaps use it um, here on this page. Um, that looks really sweet. Um, but it needs something else. It's missing something. Let me just go and see what else I can find. Now I've been scrambling around in my stash and this is the layout that I've come up with. I've got a piece of braille paper here. Um, in fact, I think it goes that way up. So I'm going to have that on there like that. Then my little um, mouse. So we'll have that slightly um, higher up. That there like that. I've got um, another piece of the doily. So I'm going to have that on the bottom, which balances everything out. I like that. And then, of course, my leaf. Which way around do I want this to go? It's definitely that way um, around. Now, I could leave it there like that, but it looks a bit bland. So I do want to ink around the edges. And this time I'm going to use um, Distress Ink in Iced Spruce. So let's just um, ink around the edge of this just to frame it. I'll do the same with all the other pieces as well. And then I'll glue it down and that will be my second page done. I'm really happy with that page. I think the mouse is just absolutely um, adorable. I love field mice and we get plenty around here because we've got fields um, surrounding us. Not so pleasant when Louis decides to bring them into the house though and we spend the best part of two hours trying to retrieve them from behind the furniture. But, um, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, I decided to add one of the Tim Holtz um, small talk um, sentences, everything has beauty, just because I feel that it balances the page out better. But yeah, really happy with that. So so let's have a look and see what we can do next. I've pulled this page out of the journal again because I've decided I want to do something on this page here. I've got these bits and pieces that I want to play around with and my goodness me I've been fiddling around with these for absolutely um, ages trying to fathom out some kind of composition that doesn't look too uniform. As somebody said a couple of weeks ago um, I am not very good at doing things on the wonk. <laughs> wonky in other words so what I've decided to do I've pulled out this page here this is from um, your creative um, studio and what I found is that this makes all the difference now how did I um, want my composition I've got um, a photograph um, in front of me I think I wanted it um, here um, something like this so I'm just going to um, show you and then I'll go ahead and glue everything down I think it was um, that bit there like that um, this under here this was just um, a scrap left over from something else and that there and I think that looks absolutely beautiful so I'm just going to go off and glue everything down isn't that the most beautiful page now that everything's glued down I can see that it just needs something to fill this space here I've pulled out some flower stickers these um, came in one of the your creative studio boxes 
I quite like that one, um, that one there. Yeah, I think I prefer that one. And we've also got some green ones as well. I just thought the colours would go really well. I'm not so keen on on that. Whoops, I've dropped them, dropped them all. Don't like that. No, the green isn't doing it for me. Oh, I like that one there. That um, just balances really nicely. Right, I'm going to go for it. Um, what have I done with my um, pokey tool? The easiest way to get the backing off these stickers is just using a pokey tool. There we go. Um, we've got it. I'm just going to peel it off really gently and that can go there. Just, just like that. Don't overthink it, Nina, for goodness sakes. Just put it, put it down. There we go. Job done. I like that. That's a beautiful page. I also want to try and find a home for this little bird on a tea bag here. This was one that I printed when we were doing the tea bag challenge last year. Now I think I might have the perfect place for this. Will it fit? Yes, yes. Um, I've got the butterfly on the front. Of course, I did the two mini collages. In fact, let's take it out um, and see what we can um, do with this. Now, the only thing I don't like about the back of this, I don't like this design um, in the corner. So I need to find something to cover cover that up at least i think i do i do um i've got a photocopy of um just a stencil piece that i did ages ago i photocopied it because it was on um cardstock which is just too heavy to use in this journal and i think i'm going to glue um, a piece of that down there um i think because color wise i think um, it looks nice. I've also got some washi tape that I could, um, I thought I could put down the centre. So let me just um, stick this down first. Um, right, deli paper. Let's just grab a piece of deli paper and I'm just going to apply the glue along here to start, start off with. Just, just like that. Make sure I've got plenty along the edges. There we go, that will do. Um, and then if I stick stick this down, I'm not worried about that little black bit there because the washi tape will, will cover, cover that. Um, just make sure that I've got it straight because otherwise that will really, really bug me. Let's have a look. Is it it's straight I don't want it to um, skew if and so I'm just going to cut around the um, edges now it's funny because now that that piece is glued down I'm not so keen on that one there it's just too much the patterns are the same size so I've pulled out lots of other um, washi tapes um, that I thought I might be able to use instead and I think I'm erring towards towards this one um, the pattern's the right size, the colours work well without everything being too busy. Um, the flower didn't work, don't like the stripe. This one here is just too busy. Um, the pink doesn't work, so there we go. This is the one that I'm going to go for. Um, I do want to just add a bit of glue though, because this washi tape is um, quite old and it's, um, it's not very sticky. So let's just add a bit of glue. Oh, hang on, I'm in a muddle. There we go, and stick that down there. And that's another really simple page. I think sometimes we try to overcomplicate um, our pages and, you know, sometimes they just don't need to be that busy. Simple is sometimes best. Um, that's what I think anyway. I love the simplicity of the pages that I've got in this journal so far. So I'm just going to cut off the edge. There we go, cut off the excess. And let's see how that looks. That's really pretty. Um, I like that. And what glue do I want to use to glue my tea bag down? I think I'll use some three in one. I've taken this page out of the journal because I want to have a bit of a swap um, around. I'm going to turn this um, this page the other way round, just so that I can have the little mouse next to the bird. I don't like these two together. They just don't look cohesive to me. So I'm just going to slide this under here carefully. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but this again um, is the good thing about having elasticated um, signatures um, just so that you can swap things around. And you see that goes really well with, with that. And I think those two are a really nice pairing. 
just want to do one more page. I've got this um, fabric um, postcard here. Um, it came as a set. Um, this is just absolutely beautiful and the most gorgeous quality um, cotton. The make for anybody who's interested is Vintage Journal Postcard Labels and it's the Henley Studio, um, Makeover UK, Macawa UK perhaps. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've drawn um, a border all the way around the outside and I'm just going to cut that out with my fabric scissors. I want it to go on this page here. Let me just pull this out of the journal for a second. Here we go, just um, because it's getting a bit bulky. Um, I just think it goes really well with that delicate um, background. I do want some kind of a border to mount it on. I've pulled out two pieces um, of linen here and I don't know whether I want to have it. Um, on this colour here or this colour. I think this one here is going to perhaps um, work a little bit better and just use that um, as a as a frame. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Stabilo All pencil again. I'm going to go for this colour here. Um, what have I done with my ruler? Oh my goodness me, if you could see the mess I've got on my desk at the moment. It is just absolutely ridiculous. Here we go, this one, this one here will will do. In fact, let me unfold it so that I've got um, a nice flat piece to work with. So I'm just going to draw a line. I'm using my see-through ruler so that I can actually see um, what I'm doing. Use my Stabilo awl. Try and get it um, as straight as I can. I think that's going to be about right. And then again, I can cut that out um, with my fabric scissors. And I'm just going to take this off to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew all the way around here. And then we can do something with the, with the edges. Now, before I sew this down, I'm just going to use a small amount of glue. I'm just going to use my glue stick. I have ironed this, unfortunately, this crease here um, doesn't seem to want to come out, but that's okay. I can live with them, with, live with that. You probably won't see it by the time it's on. And I'm just going to try and get this as central as I can. And as I say, I'm just going to take it off to the sewing machine and just sew around the edges. That will just hold it, hopefully, in place. And keep your fingers crossed that I don't end up screwing this up. Isn't that beautiful though? Now it puckered in the sewing machine, unfortunately. So I've tidied the edges up um, a little bit and I'm just trying to fray um, the cotton just so that it looks more raggedy. Um, and then I think we'll get away with it better. So I'm just pulling some of the loose threads um, away. Here we go, probably better if I do it from um, this end. I've already done it on the, um, the burlap. I really like this, um, this rustic look. And we'll do it down here um, as well. Oh, here we go. It's gone a bit wonky. So I'm just going to pull some of these threads away. And there we go. I think that will do fine. I've also got my iron um, heating up just so that I can flatten it slightly and, um, you know, try and make it look a little bit better. But I just love that. And I can't wait to glue that down. And actually, now that I've ironed it, I can hardly tell. Um, that's flattened that out really nicely so that you can't really see the puckering. Luckily, it was only in this um, corner here. Isn't that lovely? And I'm just going to glue that down with some Fabri-Tac. I'll just add a small amount just around the outside, just around the edge. Not too much because, of course, I don't want it to, to bleed through. Try and get it nice and, nice and straight. I've popped this back into the journal and I just love the simplicity of that page. As I've said, I just think sometimes we can just completely overdo things when, you know, they don't need to be anything more than something simple um, like this. Let me show you the other pages I've done today. So we've got this one here, number one. Um, number two, the owls. I just think this lace is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the simplicity of that page as well. Um, what else did I do? Um, number three was the little... Um, bird, tea bag bird. I just love that as well. The colours just work so nicely together. And then um, these two pages, here's the little um, mouse and the bird, and I love the way that those sit um, nicely together. So just to recap, the challenge for this week is birds and other wildlife. Mine is mainly birds this week, with the exception of this cute little field mouse. Um, but, you know, please feel free to interpret this in any way you like. I am absolutely loving the wonderful creations that you are coming up with in the Facebook group. And if anybody wants to follow along with us on Leave the Link to the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, 
Emporium in the description box below. But, you know, if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. And most importantly, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go and check out and see what Kylie's been up to this week. You'll find the link to her video in the description box below. Um, but take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.